Can you give some examples as to what kind of visa applications it, this criterion applies to? It applies to almost every visa. The one exception that's notable is a protection visa, um, but th there are very few exceptions. Um, so people should generally be aware of the criterion yes. and really not give any um, false um, or fraudulent documents anyway. Yes, and be super careful even with typos because the problem is that that's really a matter of policy and so what the department considers to be a mere typographical error um, could be a much narrower range of information than uh, an applicant might actually uh, be seeking to persuade the department. Just and to add to what uh, Karen said, we can be, uh, the client or the applicants can be careful, uh, but we've seen instances where the client has gone to a migration agent and uh, oh, basically that's a fraudster in the society and uh, the client has got uh, <coughs> into a scheme where they have produced bogus documents and unknowingly to the client fraud documents has been submitted on behalf of the client. So you not only have to be careful of what you say and what you do, but uh, who you uh, retain to act as your uh, agent as well. Mm -hmm. You have to do a thorough search. And Always find do out. checks yes. on people. Right. For more information, you can visit our website lawhelpaustralia.org and you can also catch up on our previous episodes on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us.